Hey you did BR Tidwell 55 here. A couple days ago I posted a video talking about the FCC's uh, proposed net neutrality regulations and basically I argued that in the long run it's going to be a bad thing for the consumer because it's going to force uh, it's going to force uh, the ISPs uh, basically to do things which are going to result in poor service and uh, overall uh, and an increase the cost of uh, of broadband internet service which of course they would pass on to the consumer and uh, lo and behold today here on uh, Wired Magazine online I'll, uh, I'll post a link in the comments section is uh, is an article that goes very much more into depth than what I was able to but pretty much uh, backs up all the points that I made and uh, just right quick I'm gonna read an excerpt from uh, the article uh, that kind of that, that will demonstrate what I'm talking about about halfway down says Take away the ISP's ability to shape or restrict traffic, and you will see many carriers running into AT&T-like capacity problems. Their response will almost certainly be to make consumers pay for what they're actually using. Want to bit torrent all 6.7 gigabytes of the uncompressed bills catalog via 3G? Fine, but you'll have to pay for the bandwidth you're taking away from your neighbor. So what this net neutrality thing is going to lead to, folks, instead of paying a flat rate and getting, uh, you know, and using what you want, I mean, we may talk, this may force the ISPs to go into a metered, uh, a metered type, uh, or a tiered type service, where you're going to pay substantially more for, uh, uh, for the bandwidth that you're using and, or it's going to lead to uh, degraded service so or possibly both so anyway uh, like I said I'll post a link to the article up in the comment section and uh, and you can read it for yourself thanks